Hey guys, so welcome back to another one of my YouTube shorty videos. Today I wanted to show you guys the shortcuts for making a new track so you can be more efficient and faster when you do. So let's see. Okay, so when you're ready to make a new track, you just go Command, Shift, N. And if you're in a Windows, that's gonna be Control, Shift, N. And then what you can do is you can just type in the number for the amount of tracks that you wanna make. So let's say I want three new tracks. And then what you can do is if you keep holding Command or Control, so Command if you're in Mac, and then Control if you're in Windows, you can just hit the arrow keys. So I'm holding Control, I'm gonna hit left and right to switch between mono and stereo and I can just pick whichever one I want. And then you can also go up and down to change what type of track you're making. So I'm just hitting the down button over and over here to toggle between the options. Okay. And then if you wanna make more than one type of track, so let's say I wanna make one, oops, made it 31. Let's say I wanna make one and I want a master fader in stereo, that's perfect. So now you can just click on this plus button and then I could make maybe four mono audio tracks, right? And if I wanted to change it, I could go left and right arrows while holding control, or I can go up and down to change the type of track. So I might make audio tracks, I might make aux tracks, I might make instrument tracks. I don't think you guys need me to explain all the options here, but basically you can make a whole bunch of different types of tracks here. And you can do it one at a time. So I can then hit enter to create that. And then I could go command shift N again to create my audio track separately, or you could do it all in that one window. So it's kind of up to you. But that's basically how you make new tracks. And, and I know it seems kind of silly to put such an emphasis on these shortcuts, but you can click here to choose these different options if you want. But it's just so much more impressive and quick when you use a shortcut, like a keyboard shortcut really quickly. It really impresses clients. It makes you go faster. It's kind of fun. So I wanted to show you guys that. And once you have this window open, if you're typing in the numbers, let's say you made a mistake, you can just hit delete. It's just like normal typing. So that's basically it. And then if you wanted to use a shortcut instead of pressing this plus and minus button, which I don't always do, but you can just do command shift and then do the arrows. So instead of just holding command and doing the arrows for the different types of tracks, you can do command shift. And I'm just doing the up and down arrows. Cool, so that's basically it. And so to summarize, you just do Command Shift N to create a new track. You can keep holding Command then to toggle between mono and stereo with the left and right arrows. Or you can keep holding Command and go up and down to choose the type of track. And then you can also type in the number of tracks you would like. And then also if you do Command Shift and then the up and down keys, you can add new lines or remove lines to make a different type of track than what you had before. Cool, so that's basically it for right now. If you guys found this helpful, I hope you guys found it helpful. If you did, then please subscribe to my channel, watch my other videos, like my videos, tell your friends about my videos if they're into audio and music production too. So thanks guys. Okay.